Hi guys, so my name is Isela. I am a nurse who is currently starting her budgeting journey. I have seen a couple of people on YouTube um, using the cash envelope and sinking fund system and that's something that my fiance and I have just recently started doing in January. I was excited to start doing YouTube just to kind of give myself updates and also share my progress with everybody else. So um, we started this in January. Um, I've kind of played around with the different categories that I've used. Right now I'm currently doing an emergency fund, house funds um, for a new mattress, car, that's like car registration. The vet, we have three dogs and a snake. That's what we're gonna use this one for. Christmas, groceries. This is gonna be our first month's groceries when we move into our new house. Our first month's bills when we move into our new house. And for a new TV. So my fiance and I are actually building a house right now and we're hoping it will be done in July. So the money we're currently getting from like paychecks and anything else we're depositing into a savings account in my bank account to help with our down payment. This is just extra money for anything else. So today is basically going to be just showing you what I have in my envelopes, um, how, what my system kind of is right now, and then just where we're starting off with YouTube. So the first envelope we'll do is television. So we want a new TV for our living room when we move in. I got these little envelopes from Walmart. In them, I've got the money, and I'm currently using just a little slip here. I just have the category, the date that I'm either depositing or taking money out, the amount, and the total. So right now, I should have $120 here, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120. And that's that. I've seen different formats for trackers. I might look into getting them later, but for now, this is just what I'm using. Okay. Set that one aside. For our first month's bills, this category is mostly going to be used for things at the beginning that I don't think about, like electric, um, cable, things like that. I don't have any goals set in mind for these categories, I'm just trying to build them up as, as I go. So as you can see, I stuffed it today, apologies about my writing, but it should be around $255 in here. So 50. 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, and 255. Um, I stuffed these earlier today, obviously before filming. Um, we recently got our tax return and one stimulus check. Like I said, the reason the amounts I put in here weren't more is because most of it went towards our down payment for the house. All right, and that's that envelope. Next we have groceries. So again, this is just for when we do our first grocery trip, right when we move into the new house. Again, no goal set in mind for this. We should have $160 in here. I'm hoping to maybe get close to 500, but if not, it's fine. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, and 160. Just a side note, typically when I go to pull out the money from the bank, um, I again, I don't have any current mind, I, uh, amounts set in mind when I pull the money out. So I'll do like one denomination or two denominations. I have a lot of 10s and 20s. That's normally what we'll pull. Uh, moving on to Christmas. This one has been a little bit neglected lately just because we're focusing on the house. 
So Christmas, I should have about $130 in here. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. This one I'll probably start beefing up how much I put in here once um, everything for the house is finished. Just my main focus is all of these other bills for now. All right, our next one is for the vet. This would be for like vac uh, vaccinations for our dogs, um, mostly like medical. So right now in this envelope, I should have 140. So I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. I also think once I get closer to these other envelopes that have more money in them, hopefully soon I'll be able to do um, cash exchange. I'll go to the bank and pick out some bigger bills so that way these aren't so thick. I do like these envelopes though because they hold quite a bit in them. Okay, so with this one, this is for car registration. In here we should have $140. With this, I want to try to save up enough to do two years worth of the car registration payment. I don't like paying it every year, so this is something new that I'm trying. We'll see if I can get close to the amount. For now, though, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Oops. 110, 120, 130, 140. I'll put this back in here. For our mattress, so this is going to sound a little bougie, but we want to try getting one of those um, like Tempur-Pedic mattresses that the head of the bed comes up. Um, so this one we're going to have to save quite a bit. I don't really want to finance, so we're trying to beef this one up quickly as well. Um, for mattress right now though, we should have about $190, so let's see what we've got. 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. I think the cost of the mattress can be anywhere between like two to four thousand, which is ridiculous, but <laughs> we'll see how much we can get. All right, and then these are the two bigger envelopes. The house one is kind of miscellaneous right now. I don't have any broken down categories or a goal again in mind. Um, but this one would be more used for like furniture, comforters, knife sets, things like that. We're pretty much starting from scratch. So this one has been getting quite a bit of love and attention right now. I'm supposed to have $620 in here. Um, I have 570 though. I had a 50 in here earlier and I took it out to use for something else and I will replenish it eventually. Um, but for now, 570. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, so 570 in total. And like I said, hopefully with something like this, I'll be able to get um, like $100 bills and switch these out because this, this is one of the bigger envelopes because I obviously was using 10s and 20s for a while. Alrighty. And then lastly, I'm starting an emergency fund. Um, I want to try to get this one at least to 1000 by the end of the year. Um, we might need to start putting more in here as time goes on. I currently have, it looks like $385, but this one's been getting neglected a little because of saving for the house. Regardless though, it's a good start. So 50, 70, 90, 
110, 130, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, so 385. Alrighty, oh, I'll put my slip back in here so I know what's going on. Um, so hopefully I'll be getting paid. I get paid every two weeks, so I'm going to try to stuff these um, right after I get paid and upload videos so you guys can see the progress that we have. This system just is what I found works for me. Um, I will put these envelopes just in my little bag here for now. I got again got this at Walmart too, but they fit pretty nicely. And that's pretty much it for now. If you guys have any suggestions on, you know, layout, um, I know there are like cash trays. That might be something I invest in later on when I do future stuffing videos. But for now, this is what I've got. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.